Hi everybody, it's Monday and um, I am back. I hope everyone had a great weekend. I just got back in from walking my dog. Whew, it is cold out there. And I forgot that dogs sometimes when it gets too cold, they have like, um, I don't know how to describe it other than like her hip freezes. Her, is it her hip? I don't know, My it, whatever it is. It's one of her back legs just totally freezes up and we had a little issue. I had to like stop and give her a rub down in the middle of our walk. So um, today I'm going to make, I made challah on Friday. It came out delicious. I have very little of it left. Mike took a big chunk back. Um, and Lauren, you did not come and get it. I had it for you. You could have gotten it the next day. And who else asked for it? Jill. Jill, I would have had it for you too. So um, anyway, we actually had challah French toast yesterday. So I'm going to, I have like a little tiny bit of this left, but I'm gonna cut it so that it's actually a decent sized piece. So um, first I'm gonna go ahead, let me see if I've got everything I do. Okay, let's turn you down here. Um, so to make this, I have an egg. I'm gonna crack right into this plate. You know I love using my plates for like, you know, when I make um, any kind of chicken or anything that you have to dip, I love using these plates because it's a nice wide open area. And it also um, gives you room to like dip it, to dip well. Okay, so we've got an egg. And one egg really can do several pieces because I do add a lot of milk that, um, it absorbs really well into the bread. So, oh, I also had this brilliant idea over the weekend. You know, now that the Cocoa Exchange is closing and I'm not gonna even have some of their products available, although I will tell you at the end of this what I have a lot of some stuff left and one or two of a few things too. Um, I'm gonna, I think I've shown you guys this before. I, when my kids went to, um, move into their own apartments, I put all, Becca helped me, I put all of my recipes into a cookbook for them and I made literally four copies of it. That was it for each of my kids and for me. And I can't find it because my nieces and nephew won it also, but I can't find it. So I thought, you know, I said, I'm going, uh, so I'm going to start doing recipes from here. So, you know, it'll be, um, It'll be something my kids can use, my nieces and nephew, whatever. Okay, so what I'm adding now is a little bit of cinnamon sugar. Penzi's has the best spices you could ever want. So that's one of my little secret ingredients. And then the other one is vanilla. And you know I like the real stuff. The Mexican vanilla that is real, the, not the fake stuff. Whoops. Add a little of that on me. Okay, so we're gonna mix this up really well. Okay, and I've got a little bit of butter melting in the in this pan over here. Let's see. Yeah, let's move these out of the way. Um, I think I'm gonna cut the slices a long way. That might be a little weird, but maybe I'll get larger pieces that way because like I said we are down to this little bit that was left and this challah is not did not rise very well because I started it so late in the day and if I wanted to have time to cook it I was not going to have time to let it rise too so we have a little bit of a flat challah today Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these pieces, look, this is how tiny it is. I can fit three pieces going across here. Um, I'm gonna put these pieces in here. I'm gonna, um, you know, flip them over once they've soaked up a little. And then really, what I really like to do is let them sit as long as possible because then they absorb all kinds of, the French toast mixture goes all the way through. Okay, so I'm going to poke some holes to sort of help that a little too. If you have really fresh bread, you certainly are not gonna need to do that. But we'll let this sit there while the, um, while the, 
pan is heating up a little. Uh-oh, knew that was gonna happen. Okay. Um, and we'll turn this right over here. You know, while the pan is heating up, let me talk to you a couple seconds. I have, like, like I said, I have one of a lot of things left over, but there are a few things that I have several of. Um, I have a lot of our um, Vitalize Superberry Blend. If there's anybody who loves that, I have some of that. Um, the things I have the most of are the things I sort of use the most. <laughs> so, because I figured I'd be okay if I had that left over for a lot. But I do have a lot of that. Um, a lot, our chocolate mousse came back in stock, so I have a lot of that. And our dark chocolate sea salt cookie mix, I have that. And of course, cinnamon pecans I have. Most of those are gonna be going to teachers and healthcare workers, but if you want some, I can definitely find them for you. And some of our seasonings, our Everyday Blend, our Garden Herb, and I think, I think I have some Mexican still. So let me know if you want any of those and go through the other stuff I've posted because I do always have like one or two of several things. Oh, our wine and chocolate pairing, I've got those. That would make a great Valentine's gift. Who could I give that to? Um, oh. I got a couple people. So let me know, because I'm going to be using these things if you aren't. Okay, we're going to turn down here and start cooking this. Okay, now the goal, my goal here was to get the bread, like, really all of this absorbed in. So it might not lift real easily without falling apart. So I'm going to put, I'm going to put this right over the pan. And this one we know already fell apart. I'm gonna take extra care with him. Whoops. That might cook back together a little. Okay, we'll give them all a little bit of room. And they really do not need to cook that long. Um, we'll be able to flip those right away. Now on top of this, when my kids were little, I'd get those little containers of different colored sugars and let them decorate their own. They could like, you know, and, oh, being the teacher, we always like did some sort of lesson with it too. Okay, look at that. Um, you can do powdered sugar, you can do, uh, oh my gosh, if you wanna make this stuffed, take some cream cheese, maybe a little bit of, um, you could do vanilla, you can do uh, any kind of jam or jelly. Um, and put it, mix it with the cream cheese and put it between two of these pieces. Then um, that is delicious. You can also do like some sort of caramel sauce, anything that sounds good to you. Um, I hit, okay. So I think we're pretty good here. You just want it set up. And, whoops, we're gonna flip that one. That looked like a little bit was oozing out still. Um, and that's it, how easy was that? Um, and like I said, whatever you want, syrup, I know some people like syrup on their French toast. Really, whatever you want is fine. Think about what your favorite restaurant has and that would be delicious. Um, so this looks like I'm having breakfast for dinner tonight. Thanks for watching, I will see you all tomorrow.